use the properties listed in theorem 2.1.1 to show that each pair of circuits in 26 through 29 have the same input output table. Find the Boolean expressions for the circuits and show that they are logically equivalent when regarded as statement forms. So here is our two circuits that we want to show have the same input output tables, meaning that they're essentially the same circuits. Now they don't look like the same circuits, but I assure you they are the same circuits and we'll see why in a second. So let's keep track of each of these circuits. So let's keep track of the outputs of each logic gate in each circuit, starting with this AND gate here. The inputs of this AND gate are P and Q, which means the output of this AND gate is P and Q. This NOT gate here takes in an input from P, so this output is NOT P. This AND gate here, the second AND gate, takes in NOT P and Q. So the output here would be not P and Q. And lastly, I have a not gate here, which takes in an input from Q. So the output of this would be not Q. And then the inputs of this last AND gate would be not Q and P. So the outputs would be not Q and P. And so now we have an OR gate, which takes in inputs from P and Q, not P and Q, and not Q and P. And so we have to join these three statement forms together with the OR operation. So that would be P and Q, OR, not P and Q, OR, not Q and P. So now we have the Boolean expression for the output of this first circuit. The second circuit has just an OR gate between P and Q. So the output is P or Q. So now the problem is we need to show that these two statement forms are logically equivalent, which would therefore show that these two circuits are really the same circuits. And we have to use properties listed in theorem 2.1.1. So theorem 2.1.1 is a set of Boolean algebra laws that allow us to simplify statements into more compact statement forms. So as you can see from the distributive law, if we have P and Q or P and R, then we can factor out that P. So how can we use that? Well, let's take these two statement forms real quick and compare them. If we use the commutative property, we can set this up as Q and P or Q and not P. And so if you replace P with Q, you can see we could factor out this Q to be Q and P or not P. So that was us using the commutative laws, which allow us to swap the inputs of the AND operation so that we can get the first inputs for both of these to be Q, and then we can factor out that Q using the distributive laws. Next, we have P or not P. And according to the negation laws, P or not P is true. So this is Q and true. And then according to the identity laws, P and true is just P, which means that P and true is just logically equivalent to P, which means that Q and true is logically equivalent to Q. So now we can replace this entire first part of this with just Q. So we're left with Q or not Q and P. Now we can use the distributive law again. Now we can use the other part of the distributive law. We can distribute this Q, and I'll write this next piece below here. We could distribute the Q to be Q or not Q, and Q or P. And once again, according to the negation laws, Q or not Q is true. So this is true and Q or P. We're almost done here. According to the identity laws, again, if you... Now, I would like to use the identity law again. However, the identity law shows that the true must be the second input to this AND operation which means I need to rewrite this using the commutative law as Q or P and true. So I just swapped the inputs of this AND operation, and now we can use the identity law again to show that this is just Q or P. And that is the final simplification of the first, of the Boolean expression representing the first circuit. But that is also the output of my second circuit, if we use the commutative laws, we can swap the inputs P or Q or Q 
Q or P. Either or, they're the same, which means these two logic circuits have the same output. And so they're essentially the same circuits. Even though they don't look the same, they are logically the same, which means that their outputs are going to look identical. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.